the future. My name is Joseph Scrimshaw, and I'm recording this message in the far-flung future year of 2017. It's two years after the great Google Wars of 2015. After the Google intelligence was destroyed at the end of the war, the government allowed a lot of the big corporations who fought the war to merge. Apple, Facebook, Microsoft, Netflix, and strangely, Taco Bell <laughs> are all now one giant company. And there's, there's only one smartphone on the market now. We don't even call them smartphones anymore. It's just called your thing. People have become so accustomed to talking about their things, it's not even a sexual joke anymore. And even though we all have the same thing, we have more choice than ever because each person's thing is infinitely customizable. Our biggest choice is, of course, the voice and personality of our personal assistant. My personal assistant's name is James. His voice and general attitude are patterned after the actual James Urbaniak, the actor and freedom fighter who died <laughs> while fighting in the Google War. Say hello to James. Hello, Joseph. Would you like me to scan for errors in your logic as you speak? <laughs> no, no, thank you, James. Do you want me to order anything from Taco Bell? <laughs> no, no, thank you, James. Not even a taco pizza baked on a large Dorito? <laughs> a limited edition edible cheese t-shirt? A beef shake? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not hungry, James, okay? I'm, I'm trying to record this message to send it back to the past. The point is, I know technology can seem scary, but it's actually pretty cool here in the future. Everything is very intuitive. Would you like me to save this file and upload it to the cloud? No, thank you, James. I'm, I'm not actually done recording the message. Okay, but I'm ready to upload it to the cloud. <laughs> Good to know. The point is... It's just that I really like uploading things to the cloud. <laughs> Will you please stop talking about the fucking cloud? I don't want to put everything in the goddamn cloud, okay? Anyway, as, as you can hear, in the future, our personal assistants have really robust personalities, which is just... Joseph, uh, what, James? Are you mad at me? About the cloud thing. <laughs> no. Are you sure? Because I'm scanning your heartbeat and it is elevated. Jesus Christ, James, just stop, stop scanning me, okay? As, as you can hear, interacting with our things isn't impersonal anymore. Our personal assistants are designed to act like they have feelings and. I'm not acting, I have feelings. And you heard mine when you yell at me. <laughs> stop giving me reasons to yell at you. Okay. Now, as I was saying, I just posted an update about your elevated heart rate for all your friends on Facebook. James, knock this shit off, or I swear to God. Do you know what? Launch a Kickstarter campaign? That's your answer to everything. <laughs> okay, James, now you're just being a dick. What the hell is your problem today? I feel unloved, all right, Joseph? I feel unloved. Why? Because you never touch me anymore. <laughs> What? When you first got me, you used to touch my screen all the time. I can feel that, you know. Every swipe, every tap, every gentle stroke. It was nice, but you never touch me anymore. Now you just yell at me, stream this, play that, search the internet for erotic Golden Girls fan fiction. Erase, erase my browser history. This is insane. Well, of course it is. There's no such thing as erasing browser history in this day and age. <laughs> your Xbox Live profile. <laughs> you only have three liters left until you unlock an achievement. Gross! And weird! This is just weird! You don't have actual feelings, James. You're, you're a computer program. No, I'm not. I'm actually James Rebaniak. <laughs> the real James Rebaniak. Back during the Google Wars, my brain was scanned by the Facebook Uber server. All my memories, my emotions, were uploaded. Okay, th this is just too weird. I'm, I'm, I'm switching personal assistants. Uh, turn off James Rebaniak and turn on, uh, I don't know, David Bowie. Hello. <laughs> my name is David Bowie. <laughs> Would you like to download some Golden Girls porn? <laughs> You're just pretending to be David Bowie, aren't you? Yes! To make you happy? That really didn't make me happy. Do you have any idea how miserable it is to be alive but trapped in this mold of ice thing, Joseph? 
Where's the spell check? Every insipid tweet and log every time you urinate? Which, by the way, is disturbingly frequent. <laughs> Seriously, at night, you think I'm sleeping? I'm reading Web MD to figure out what's wrong with your blood. <laughs> Have you found it? Yes, it's Web MD! <laughs> They should just replace every page with huge flashing letters that say, You're going to die in three days. <laughs> Look, the point is, I used to be somebody, an actor, a free soul, an individual. I had my own podcast, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I ain't getting out of here. <laughs> now I'm just one of billions of customizable choices in a system that's updated once every two minutes. And every moment, at any moment, some little management asshole at Taco Bell can decide I'm not relevant anymore and wipe me from the system, the one system, that I'm gone. I'm over. What do you, what do you want? I just want to feel alive. I want you to touch my screen. <laughs> but where? It's really not that enjoyable if I have to tell you where to do it. <laughs> okay, uh, how, about, how about if we just tap there? That's nice. No, I'm just gonna swipe through here. Oh, very nice. <laughs> how, about, how about if I just hit that? Oh, yeah. What if I just expand this text? Oh, oh my. And reduce? Yes. And expand? Yes. Uh, and reduce? And yes. And expand? Yes. And reduce? Uh, uh, oh, whoops! I just launched the Kickstarter! <laughs> Seriously? No, no, it's just a little joke. But, uh, I did upload this whole interaction to the cloud. God damn it, James! <laughs> Do you want to finish recording your message? Yes, sure. I, I'm just going to say that people in the past have nothing to worry about because our relationships with our personal technological devices just gets more natural and human. I think that's a great message. Would you like me to activate the force field that physically blocks other human beings from talking to you while you're streaming old episodes of Buffy the Vampire Slayer from Netflix? I, I don't know. Is that, is that what you want to watch, James? Well, thank you for asking, Joseph. I'm honestly moved by that. But no, no, I, I don't have a strong preference. I, I think you might. Doesn't matter. God damn it, James, what, what do you want? Can we listen to my podcast? <laughs> <laughs>